Today, I would like to reveal the ancient mysteries of Fibsborough. Geographically speaking, no one knows where Fibsborough begins. It's simply known as the Almond Milk Latte version of Cabra, the rat mines of the north side. People from Fibsborough think they need to spell Fibsborough in two different ways. Because if they just called Fibsborough Fibsborough, then Fibsborough would feel left out. The red bricks and mortar of Daly Mount Park has weathered the storm of gentrification, all thanks to Barry Bowes, the unofficial manager of Bohemians Football Club. Barry has been a staunch advocate for keeping the spirit of old Fibsborough alive, back to a time when Fibsborough was about community and togetherness. Daly Mount Park, a time capsule of what Fibsborough used to be before it turned into a giant slice of avocado toast. The annual Fizz Fest has been baffling Fibsburians for centuries. We've all seen the posters go up, but why has no one ever been there? Where is it? McGowan's is the charging station of Fibsborough residents. This is where they drunkenly mingle with Glasnevians and Drumcondrians, while making sure the Broadstone and Cabra heads get stopped at the door because they're frightened of them. The Eddie Rockets in Fibsborough is the best Eddie Rockets in Ireland to charge your phone in. But only if you're in Fibsborough and there's no other Eddie Rockets to choose from. The McDonald's in Fibsborough barely has any food in it because they're just pretending to be a McDonald's. It's really a top secret international space station powered by the pizza place next door. So top secret that I am the only one who knows about it. Fibsborough is basically a glorified Instagram ad. Fibsborough in Irish roughly translates to the eternal coffee shop. James Cavanagh is the king of Fibsborough. During the day, he lives inside the big Tesco, and at night time, he sleeps in his car, draped in a dry robe, surrounded by melting Yankee candles and his cat. The Kung Fu Buffet has been posing as an all-you-can-eat Chinese restaurant for centuries. But since time began, they've been training to fight in a battle against the coronavirus. In Time Out magazine, Fibsborough ranked as one of the coolest neighbourhoods in the world. Because the world isn't actually that cool. Fibsborough has the perfect combination of struggling college students, delivery drivers and the criminally insane. The back page is home to the hipsters of Fibsborough. Everyone wonders what book the back page was taken from. Some believe it was ripped from the NCID student manual. The back page has schizophrenia. It doesn't know if it's a restaurant, a sports bar or a smoking area. All it's for sure is once you enter through their double doors, you won't leave without letting everyone know how confused you are. The back page has a magic spray doused around the entrance that blinds you if you're wearing a Bose jersey. No one knows what's inside Fibsborough Shopping Centre. This 1960s shopping complex is a glitch in the video game of Dublin 7. Every time you go deeper into the heart of this Fibsburyan jungle, your journey restarts from your last checkpoint, Tesco. The local TDs promised every year that the centre would get a makeover, but instead, they accidentally passed legislation just before the ban to turn Fibsborough Shopping Centre into a co-living space. The only people who've ever said, I'm going to Fibsborough Shopping Centre, are American tourists who'd never been inside Fibsborough Shopping Centre and have no idea what's in store. The government decided to swallow up all the charity shops in the area and replace them with coffee kiosks to see if flat whites could cure homelessness. It turns out they can't, but now Fibsborough has the most productive homeless people in the country. Fibsborough is split into two camps, Old Fibsborough and New Fibsborough. Old Fibsborough are the residents who have lived there for generations, and New Fibsborough are the people who have migrated to the area due to a recommendation on a top 10 list on joe.ie. The end goal of New Fibsborough is to cordon off Old Fibsborough, bullying them into a small circle a small circle called Cabra. The hut is the only place in the world where Old Fibsborough and New Fibsborough actually coexist. Downstairs is an old man's pub full of Guinness and Bose fans. And upstairs, a room hosting hardcore punk gigs full of bitter trust fund kids and the angriest people in the world. Who, Nazis? What? No! 
Sober alcoholics. There's a small subsection of new Fibsborough that wants to become old Fibsborough, but they can only earn their stripes in the same way the rest of the old Fibsburyans had to, by winning on the slot machines at Dr. Quirky's and then getting dragged out by the bouncer, kicking and screaming for hiding a pigeon in their coat. Back in 2018, whenever someone said, let's go to the canal, they meant Portobello. But ever since the Bernard Shaw relocated to Fibsborough, going to the canal became synonymous with Fibsborough, because the Bernard Shaw is the dictator of the way the water flows. Before the Bernard Shaw moved to Fibsborough, the Fibsburyans claimed they drank cans of the canal all their life, but they were really just living out a demented fever dream to protect themselves from realizing they were drinking Dutch gold in their room because the canal hadn't been invented yet. Namaste.